Hey, how's everybody doing out there? It's me, Elric, over here on my musical channel, coming to you guys from, well, not so sunny California. You guys can probably see behind me, it's pouring down rain and awfully cold here. So what's going on today? Well, today I bring you my, is my first unboxing of a product on my music channel. So on this channel, what I'll be bringing you guys is musical gear as well as I progress through my songs. Want to thank all of you guys out there, first of all, for all the support you guys have given me so far American Beautiful. We're working on another two now to come out soon. What we're bringing you guys today, though, we're bringing you guys an unboxing of the new Focusrite Sapphire Pro 40. What is this thing? This is a Firewire audio interface. What I'm getting this for is in the back back here is where my band rehearses. We have a new band we're working with and we don't really know any songs at all. We're kind of just like writing everything from scratch. So instead of just hanging a mic from the ceiling, which like a lot of bands do, we thought we'd just step it up a little bit more. We'd actually get an audio interface so we could actually have control of the channels and get a somewhat halfway decent mix back here before we bring it actually over into the recording studio. So let's just start the unboxing and take a look at this thing as we go along. Big features about it is it's got eight of in eight and out has spdif has adat has all that stuff so we'll start off come a little bag it says register me online then we've got the excite plus pack it has software and stuff in here this thing actually has its own software it works with both a pc and a mac be aware though that i'm not sure how well it works with the 64-bit version of pcs when you're doing windows 7 yet that's still a little bit questionable but max it works all the way up to lion so no problem there you get your cable right here your firewire cable good to have also, if you're using a PC, I just want to mention, do not use the FireWire cable that comes in your motherboard. If you have one, make sure you go out and buy yourself a separate one. It'll work much better. On the Mac, it works just fine, but on the PC, it's a little bit different. So, ah, this thing's really heavy. Got a power cable right here. And I just want to say, wow, this thing is like extremely heavy. I mean, it weighs a lot. Toss the box out of the way. Go ahead and open this thing up. You see it's all taped up, completely sealed in here. Go ahead and tape the whole thing. So now we're going to start from, we're going to take a look at the front of the unit. It's very nice, it's very sleek. Um, everything is easy to read. Over here, you have your combination ports for XLR and for quarter inch. You have an additional six of these in the back that we'll show you later. All your gain and controls are all right here by these knobs and compression things right here that you press. Over here is your meter window. This is where I'll show you all your levels. Over here, right here, we have headphone jacks. Now, this thing actually has the ability to do two headphones simultaneously, so you probably won't need to get an additional box for this, which is pretty cool. Next to the headphone out here is your main output for your monitors. That's these buttons right here. On the back side, here are the additional six that we talked about. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see they're all combination ports. Then right here, we have the output. These are all your quarter inch outputs. Down here, we have your ADAT. This is your optical in and out. Then we have your Firewire. This is what's connect to your PC or to your Mac. And then right in, we have the MIDI controllers. The MIDI controllers have actually 16 channels that you can use this five pin connectivity right here. And then we have SPDIF connectivity right here. And then finally, the power plug. This unit comes to market at about $500. You might be able to find it a deal somewhere else online if you're lucky. The reason that I'm really interested in this thing is that all the reviews online say this was the absolute best one for the price range. It has great connectivity. It's supposed to have zero loss of signal during audio transfer, and it works with both a Mac and a PC, which is something I was looking for. I plan on running Pro Tools on a PC experimentally, and then running on my Mac, running the Logic software. For those looking for multiple inputs at a low price, I think the Sapphire Pro 40 is something to to look into. In my future reviews I use in the studio, I'll come back and give you guys a full review and then I can give you the full thumbs up from it. But from right now, just from what I've read and from what I see, I think this should be a pretty solid unit. See you guys back here on the Elric Ferris Music Channel later. Rock on.